Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ramblin' Railroad on Railroads Online. We're up here at the uh, Iron Ore Mine just delivering this load. And we're gonna, this last little bit, we're going to take a look. Actually, that's going in. I don't like the way that one bounced, but we got three in there. So, I think it's a one to one. So, one beam, one lumber equals one iron ore. We should have 12 iron ore. It says 10, 11. In just a few seconds, we should get 12. Out of 290. And I don't know how much. There we go, 12. Now these should be empty. Okay, so. I don't know how much those iron ore cars will hold. Um, honestly, I, I haven't really seen anybody. Hauling iron iron ore. Um, I take that back. I, I think I saw a Kerbo do it, um, but it was like a long time ago, and I don't really remember. So, and Khan, the guy I watch, Khan, he doesn't really come up here that often. So, and I, you know, honestly, I don't really like his uh, when he's just driving around his trains. I like I like to watch him build track because him and I are kind of perfectionists that way. But anyway, uh, off topic, we got to get a lot more lumber and beams up here to get iron ore if we want to fill this thing up. And that's kind of my goal. I want all the industries to be at max of everything. Um, is that realistic? I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. But now we have to figure out a way to get this train back down to the smelter. And actually, it doesn't need to go to the smelter. It needs to go to... The, uh, the sawmill way over there. And what does need to go to the smelter is the iron ore that it's producing, right? Uh, we meant we talked about that in an earlier video. So we need to have two trains running. Obviously, we can't do it at the same time since we're single player only. But I mean, that's a long route to the uh, um, sawmill for this train. And we have to turn it around anyway. Like, we're not going to back down this entire thing. We might. Is there enough room here to loop around? Oh, boy. I don't know. If this was a little bit bigger, this might be enough area to loop around and head back the other way. If that was the case, this might be simple. But I think we need to tie in to the main line just after that saddle between the smelter and the sawmill. Now, like I say, I, I, I'm a fan of other YouTubers, and they do it, Yeah, but I don't really like the way they've done it, and I don't know if I can do it any better. You know, I, I was kind of humbled by this latest video that we just did, running from the smelter to the iron ore mine. That's a super long uh, route, and I violated my, my rule of not going over 3%. So, but since I kind of did violate that rule of going over 3%, reality is, I don't want to say out of, the, out, out of the picture now, you know, out the window, but we can get away with maybe a little more than 3%. I'm willing to bend the rules a little bit, but I don't. I don't want to. So, obviously, we're gonna have to come through this way. And that, what I like to do, yeah, let's just do it now. I was, I was debating doing it later or not. I like to go to where I. This is the iron ore mine is now the starting point, right? And I like to go to the finish and start there. So the finish in this case would be where it ties in to the main line halfway between the sawmill and the smelter. So it's a, it's going to be another long run. Let's just scout it first. So I think we're going to come along right along here. Now we're not going to be building right now. We're just going to be... Uh, oh, there's almost just enough room. I'm just picturing like this coming around here 
but then it's going to hit this area here and it's or we turn it way too sharp and that's just not going to look be right or look right so let's just kind of scout this on the way to where it's going to tie in at and we'll kind of get a better idea of what we're dealing with here hopefully this might be bad i'm not sure all these trees make it very difficult to see i wish where there was a way to just like turn off trees for a little bit and then we can turn them back on to do the logging and stuff after we figure out our route. I think we're going to side hill it along here. Maybe. Well, we're going to have to. But do we need to be climbing or, or falling? And right now, all I'm looking for is just like natural features that we could use. Like this right here. This might be a good landing. Kind of high. Just looking at where we're at. And as I said, there's no no surveying tools. You know, I wish we had some surveying tools. So, this might be like a good spot to you know have a bridge come across. It's kind of across this gorge here. And then connect up over here somewhere. Of course, I can't see where that was. So, there's no way to mark things on a map or, you know, look at a topographical map or anything like that to try and figure out. I mean, this map is okay, but it's zoomed so far out. Like, we can't actually see where we're going. So, or what, you know, we can't really make out terrain details that, that granular, that fine, you know. It's, it's too granular. So anyway, uh, let's just continue uh, walking along here and see what we can see. I just see a lot of side hilling. You know, big tall walls on the side of hills. It's not horrible. I just don't like the Great Wall of China, you know. And of course I have no idea about elevations yet. Like, where on the side of this hill will we be coming across? Here it kind of levels off. We can probably, like, span a, another bridge across here. Kind of a thing. I'm sorry if it's a little jerky as far as my mouse swinging around. I hope I'm not making anybody sick. I know when people do, like, uh, hyperlapses and they, they're doing this and they're shaking the camera all around. In a hyperlapse, it's, you know, magnified. And um, it makes me a little queasy. I don't. I don't like it. So I actually haven't watched anybody play this game since I started recording. It's been like uh, two weeks now, and um, I kind of want to figure this out on my own. I don't want to be called, uh, you know, copying somebody or or whatnot. So boy, this this area sucks. We have to get across it. Wish we can just cut into the side of the hill. It might be better to if we're down here. This looks better. But is it too huh. I say that and I get down here. It's like super steep. There's the river. Where are we at? Looks like we're coming up to a plateau of sorts. You know, we might have to just put a turntable there and do that whole uh, train reversing trick. It'll add time and, and work, but I don't know if this route's going to be doable. I'm envisioning coming along here, maybe. But then where, you know? And where where are we relationship-wise, elevation-wise? 
to our destination and to our starting point for that fact. I think this is that plateau we saw on the map. And we want to be over here somewhere. This is a large part of route making, is the, the scouting and the surveying. This is all nice and flat. I, I like this area. Flat is nice. Flat is easy. You just make a nice straight line to wherever you need to go. But where, up here, do we need to be at? And is this our saddle here? Do we want to be, are we way down there? No. This is another another gorge. Oh boy. We're gonna have to span this gorge. And if so, from where? I think I see Okay. I think that is the main line to get down to the smelter from the uh from the freight depot. Yeah. Okay. We might come over here. And this is all flat. If it's all flat, I mean, that's going to be a large bridge coming across there, though. Unless we go up the side of the canyon here. Let me just get over here for a second. I wish we could like fly or something, you know, like get above the trees and kind of see just for scouting purposes. Like I'm a conductor, you know, engineer running around doing all the scouting. <laughs> okay, so there's that line. If we come off let me see if I can get back in this view. We come off over here somewhere and shoot across. I don't even know the elevations. Got to get up here. Maybe. I mean... There's this knoll. Do we fall? No, we can't follow this. Basin will be way too low. Hey, vey. This is going to be... Uh, this is going to be a challenge. I'm not going to lie. Um... It might... I don't want a side hill on that side of a cliff. That's not very realistic at all. I'm sure someone's going to point out a, a an actual railroad that they did, you know, side hill on the side of a cliff back in the 1880s or someone without, like, cutting into the side of the cliff. <laughs> That's just my look. Uh oh I fell. Great, I'm not getting back up there. Oh, maybe I will. There we go. Okay, so... We may or may not have a giant bridge. Two. And we do have a giant bridge. I mean, they did have giant bridges. I'm not going to say that they didn't. What I don't like is when you come off of a, of a hillside, you know, or through a saddle, and have a giant bridge, kind of like this one... Um, that just goes dropping right into your destination without following terrain. They would have followed terrain the best they could and used bridges and, and tall groundwork where needed because bridges are extremely expensive and dangerous as all hell to, to make. So, alright, let's get over there. I need to figure out a way to get up there. I 
Okay, now I'm I'm lost. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure where we're at here. Do I need to go up or down? I think this is actually well. This is that saddle right over here. I'm thinking so. Let's go take a look. Yeah. Okay. So there's my line coming down out of the saddle. And what I was thinking was that we'll split off like in the saddle here and then come this way maybe through this little split or side hill it through here oh but it goes up here at the end, huh? It's like a bowl. That means we have to we have to climb. We have to climb up to this level to start. Alright, so how are we gonna get up here though? That's a long ways down from up here. I don't even know what this this grade is right here. Let's check. Well, for first off, let's save now that we're here. Continue. All right. Oh my gosh, I don't want to do a. We're gonna have to come off up, up here. There's gonna be some groundwork here. Probably another bridge like this, right next to it. What I'm thinking. Alright, redo this. But if we start further back here where it's higher, you can see. And then we don't have to climb as steep. Um I'm thinking. gonna be something like that. Matter of fact, while I'm, while I'm here, I'll just drop that in. We'll make it work. Huh. Angry. Try that again. Why is it doing that? What is going on here? I don't want to have a jump. Okay, we're gonna. This is turning into more of a pain in the butt than it's worth. Let's see here. Works very good here. That's what's going on. That trick's not going to work. Take two sections out. 
<laughs> what is that? <laughs> I'm making things worse here by the minute. This groundwork probably needs to be all redone. I got this strange hump here, and that's screwing me up. So you know what? We're just going to redo this little section right here. This is what happens when you start looking at stuff a little more closely. use a yeah I didn't see what that grade was that's all right I like to do stone walls and stuff and you know off the edge of the bridges but I think the stone wall is gonna interfere with my switch here. I'm just gonna use uh I'm just gonna do it without the stone wall, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm just gonna eyeball this. We could try and make it straight, but I got a feeling it's gonna screw up where we tie it in at up here we'll see yeah it's pretty straight but I don't like this kink Oops. short sections like that. They should. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Now what were we doing? <laughs> I think we wanted that switch to come off like right here is what I believe we were doing. Got the groundwork here. I like to do it that way. That way, it uh, just kind of spurs off. Let's get our rail piece down. Go right about there. Watch you do that thing again. Yep. <laughs> I do not understand this. Why is it doing this? If you know why it's doing this, let me know in the comments because this is really annoying and um, it's kind of upsetting. 
and it just like bends upwards like that for no apparent reason. Um, I have to have a switch here. Let me go back another section here. Okay. I might just move it over a little bit. jank right there. It is what it is. The bridge. We'll go 1.25%. Let's see what that looks like. And we'll see if we need to curve the bridge at all. 1.25 might be really stinking high. Let's see. Okay, it's coming down. What on my bridge? There it is. Wow, 1.25 is really high. No, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I thought these things go pretty much forever, but this one's being a pain in the butt. Let's just put it down. Let's see where this one goes. Duck. <laughs> oh, you can't make this up. <laughs> we'll kind of hug the side of the of the hillside. I don't have my screen there for a second. I can turn off the locking. And then give it a curve. And turn the locking back on. I'm thinking like right there. 1.25 might be a little too much. Why well, can we get away with just one? Because, well, how much further up uphill we gotta go? Let's just do a regular constant grade here. So this is zero. We're just scouting. Okay, so now, I mean, that's kind of high, but it's all right. It doesn't look weird. Just want to check this turn here. Oh, that turn's fine. All right, I'm going to get these trees out of the way because I need to see it without the trees. Yes, and that drops down 3%. This is climbing 1.25%, and the ground drops away. So it makes it look like it's really steep, and it's not. It's kind of a weird observation. Curve this on around. We can start dropping you know, back here a little bit on that groundwork. But we go up again right here. So we've got the, like this little valley that's right here. It's very small. But then where? Let's go up and down, up and down, up and down. There's no way to measure how much we're going up and down. Whoa. Okay. This is a big gorge. Well, we said we're gonna probably have to cross it. We want to go over there. That's that plateau we saw on the map, right in front of the mouse arrow. You can kind of see where our route is, which is right behind the arrow there on the map. 
kind of the direction we're trying to go. So, like, right there is the direction we want to go. Okay. We can make this work. We just have to get through here now. trees and we'll bring it up to right about there we'll check it out oh yeah that's good but here we're gonna have to start dropping down more I'm guessing well we'll just use the bridge um, we'll use the bridge as our um, God, what's the word I'm looking for? Gradient tool or our surveying tool. So I think we, that's about straight. Okay, so we're down at one one and a half percent still. Let's see where it comes out at. We need to shift over a little bit and let's drop it down three and a half percent. Ooh, it's kind of steep, but it's doable. I'll move it over here. That's just gonna tie into the bridge we're gonna have across this. Put that down. No, because it's going to put a big old kink in it. And we're going to lower it down three and a half. Now we're going to use the radius tool. Or, yeah, radius tool. I'm just going to try and point to about where we want to go. Look at 10. We'll divide that in half, so 5. We'll plop that down. We'll do another one. 5. And then we'll straighten that out. Now, hopefully, this works. Clicked off, kind of weird, but that's okay. That looks a little, somewhat de decent. It didn't click at first, and I stopped moving. I clicked again, and it kind of shifted over a little bit. Let's see how this bend looks. Yeah, that's fine. It's such a slight bend. Okay, let's log. I don't know if I really like this little jink right there. I mean, we could probably come off a little straighter off of the groundwork here. We're going to do that. Bridges, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Goodbye. Now that we can kind of see through there, we can try and make this a little bit straighter and maybe shoot the entire thing in with one, one piece. like that. Is it going to move? <laughs> and we'll drop it down our... If we do 2% and just keep it running, what is... We drop down 1.5 to get it to this hill. I don't... If we go... Come on. 
will it make it all the way there? Is what I'm getting at. Shoot. I still have a hold of it. It's going to where I want to end up. Pretty high, I think. Let's try three percent. I'm just worried about hitting the ground like right here. Boom, we hit the ground. But we shifted over just a little bit. We shouldn't. Let's run and see what happens. Oh, I hate that. And sometimes you can shoot it like across the map, literally. Other times, it only goes so far. Three percent. There we go. Two point seven five percent. That last, well, the whole thing really. Two point seven five percent. Now this should clear that ground just fine. And even though it looks kind of wonky, that is what it is. We can do a little groundwork right here and just cover the bridge, like. Uh, Kind of what I was thinking, something like this. Okay. Huh. This needs to be steel. Just because it's such a big bridge. Let's do, um. I'm gonna do a constant stone wall. It's a good anchor. I'll drop that down the 1.75. Let's make it match. I don't know if this needs to level off. You know, what's the height difference between here, between here, this little edge, and wherever we end up over there? I don't even know if I can shoot a bridge. It's gonna be wood um, that far. I'm trying to see the bottom of the the feet. I don't even know if they feet touch. Certainly won't snap to anything or, you know, lay down. Come on. Hmm. Well, let's just start going and see what happens. We'll do a 0% and see how high we are. <laughs> yeah, these metal ones don't go very far. have to wow okay it's as far as we can go have to make sure that my angle is right as well because there is no um, alt because they're not solid uh, until you actually place them uh, there's no alt locking That looks like I'm a little bit twisted. Come on. Let's 
So right now that oh, I left click that places it, but it's not locked yet. It's not selling. Well, it should place it. It's not going to place it, is it? There we go. So now if I step forward, I'm going to fall. Because that's not solid yet. Not until I right click. And you see it shifted. Now it's solid. I see a problem. Do you see the problem? We're, um, we need to climb a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't know how much. Ooh, we got a big old bend in it, too. How'd that happen? Started, like, right around in this area. This link right there. So we come off, we're dropping down the flat bridge to climb up, or do we move this bridge back up the hill a little bit? I'd love a laser, <laughs> you know, laser level. <laughs> uh, well, let's uh, demolish some bridge sections here. Come on. Oh, I screwed myself for demolishing that one, didn't I? Alright, and just like that, we are back. For you, it's just been a second or two. For me, it's been about two days. Uh, we had Christmas, and uh, several hours of working on this new uh, line going up to the iron ore mine. I think I got it figured out. We come along down here, we hit this wooden bridge. We keep cruising down, hit this little spot right here. This is like 3%, I think. Whatever it was, I don't remember exactly. And then I had to level it off right here. You can see kind of the transitions right there. And that comes down to like 175 or something like that. And then we start climbing here. So like this is zero. And this cl actually climbs up at like 0 0.75 or something like that. One. Um. The reason why we have it going down and then going back up again is because I actually was able to shoot a bridge over here from the other side. From way over there, from the other side. And it impacts like up here somewhere at zero. A zero percent gradient, it comes in and it hits like right here. So that's like that's dead level. So to me, that just looks funky, you know, having a steel bridge spanning this canyon that's way over here, start way back over here. So it's, you know, I don't like bridges that just go across the landscape for no reason. So, and this isn't totally straight, but I think it's a pretty good job. Um, I haven't gone down to look to see if the 
Um, legs connect yet, and I need to do all the logging down there. Get rid of all the trees that touch the bridge. Like they would have done. So. So yeah, this climbs like 0.75%. Uh, the, and it, it hits pretty much the level over here. There. So it's a little bit of a climb, but it's not bad. And, uh, so yeah, so we just gotta come down here. And start logging. I'm going to look at all these uh, spots, make sure they all touch the ground. I don't want a free-floating bridge. Oh, see, like that. That's a free-floating bridge. All through here. Uh-oh. We're going to have to fix that. I think I know how to fix it. Um, obviously, we can run a train on there. It doesn't matter. It thinks it's solid. But... I, now that I know this, it's going to be in the back of my head that it's, you know, not right. So we'll fix it. <laughs> Big ears. There we go. And we got the footings all done for the bridge, and it looks somewhat realistic. I'm happy with that. Alright, so we got across the gorge. That was a major achievement. Now we gotta go, I believe, that way. Yeah. So we got a nice flat area here. Let's just uh, do this. Let's try to figure out how to get over there. Oh, we gotta come up a little bit more. I'm kinda watching the our groundwork here. This is not going to be permanent, obviously. Uh, I'm just trying to see where we're going to come out at. And if memory serves, we got to climb, right? Or do we... Are we level? I'm going to drop that here. I'm going to bring it this way. Do little shorty things here, because we might need to bend it over here sooner. This is all 0% that I'm laying down. Just kind of... This is how I scout. 
right? This is better. I think on the side of this mountain Right there, we're at zero percent. You can see that it's the ground starts dropping away. You can see that starts coming up rather quickly. ugly. Don't like this. We're not side hill on the side of this flipping cliff. Which tells me we gotta climb. Yeah, I mean, you can look straight across over there now is the iron ore mine, and that's where we're heading, so that looks like it's still a little above us. So we might need to climb, and then we can probably drop down some. So let's go back. Many unbearable hours later. Alright, well that was a marathon and a half to try and get this over here, but I got it. Uh, many hours. In fact, it's, uh, I believe, the next day since uh, last time I saw you. We'll see how the footage comes out. So I got the groundwork run all the way. It didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it, but it's it'll work. So, there's probably one or two kind of hairy spots. We'll see. And there is some steepness. There's probably uh, one or two spots that goes 6%. Not my uh, best plan of action, but not horrible. I had to uh, back the train up that was sitting here uh, because I needed to bring in the groundwork in here now. So, I had to redo all this. So, now I just need to lay some track, and uh, then we'll take a tour of it. So, I'll be back with you as soon as that's done. There, we've got just the last little bit to go here. Just gotta connect it up to the main line. And we'll be done. Uh, that's kind of janky right here. It always is. Back up a few. I'll come off of this one. The idea is to go short pieces. You don't want to go super long. Um, that it'll automatically kind of smooth itself out. All right. But, I was thinking about this as I was laying the track. You know, this is great when we're coming from the sawmill over to the iron mine, which is over that way. We just come down this track here, we cut off here, we go around the big long loop, through the smelter, come back, and go back to the, to the sawmill. What happens if we're running iron ore. If we're running iron ore, then... Oh, this kind of got a little janky right here. We still have to turn around. We're not going to bring the iron ore to the sawmill to turn around to go to the smelter. Or if we started the, you know, going the other way, if we go um, the, the cars from the um, iron ore mine to the smelter, I guess we can turn around there and come back, but we have no way of turning around at the smelter. Does that make sense? So we're still going to be coming down this way, have to turn around at the uh, sawmill to go down to the smelter. So, I don't know. Um, this isn't very straight. I was freehand in this uh, because my bridge wasn't very straight something was maybe as much starting track there. I'm going to go ahead and demolish this. The 
Yeah, this probably got off just a little bit. That's no big deal. I'll show you how I um, make straight track. So, look, that looks somewhat straight. So if this is off, you know, then this whole thing will be off. So I take a, a crossover piece, I link it here. Okay. Then I take my rail, link it to one side, link it to the other, and now it's straight, right? Oh, come on. That's you I'm clicking. I'm I'm trying to snap it down, but it doesn't like certain spots. It seems like there's more spots it doesn't like than it does. Okay. I want to bring that right up to the edge. I don't want to link it. Right there. Three foot. I come out a little ways. About three railroad ties or so. And just... Start snapping it down. Okay, this is gonna be a little wonky. Yeah. That's right. We'll just keep demolishing. I'll make it link up and make it look good. After a while, you get really good at the controls and just knowing where things are at. When I first started, I had a hard time with that. Now it's second nature. I put a little bit of a jank in it. Let's take a step back and look. It's not horrible. This turn is kind of sharp. But that looks a lot better. Let me just come down here and we'll delete this piece. I remember this time. <laughs> Make sure that it uh, looks good. It kind of got a little bit of a bump there. It's not bad. So my thought was that we would come back here and try to figure out a way of getting onto this main line like up here or something going towards the smelter and I'm not sure it can be done honestly um, the way we have this ran I don't think it's gonna be done and it might be just we go to the sawmill turn around and come back um, I think that's what we're going to end up doing. There's just not enough space to turn around and go the other way, and I don't want to do something that's completely unrealistic. You know, big old switch yards and stuff up on stilts, up on a giant, you know, six degree angled curved freaking bridge. You know, that's just, that's not right. So I'm, I'm running back over here to see if maybe we can get a turnaround in this little cut. I don't think we can. And it might be too that uh, we just do that whole reversing train thing over at the um, iron ore mine, you know, the turntable and just turn the train around. We got room to do that over there. So maybe that's what we'll do. Just uncouple the engine and get it off to a siding with the turntable, turn it around and put it behind the train and pull the train in reverse. All right, well, I'm going to get back over where the train is, and then we'll take a tour up to this point. I'll be right back with you. All right, I'm just getting the last little bit of fuel and ultra here. I went ahead and plopped down a wood depot, firewood depot, and a water tower. And... 
because this thing was completely empty on just about everything. I'll make sure we get enough fuel here. So now we will actually do a track along this side because we have to do, um, you know, deliver firewood, you know, wood here, wood products here. So we'll just come off of that line, go right through here, probably plop a turntable right here, and then hook it up to this line over here. And then we'll pull in with our, our cars and, you know, load them or unload them, or load them, I guess would be loading them. Uh, then back the train down this side, or the, the locomotive down this side, turn it around on the turntable, go over here and hook it up to the back of the train of the uh, iron ore, and then go that way and f going forward. For these, you know, bringing in wood here, I don't think that we need to, to do that. We just go straight and just keep trucking and head back to the sawmill. So it's a long route, but you know it, it is what it is. It gets it done. All right, so let's go take a tour of this thing. Break off, let off. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been driving trains, so We're moving forward. All right, here we go. I'm not going to give it a whole lot of juice because we start dropping pretty quick. This was a hard route, and it took a long time. Um, not as long as the other, you know, that way. Uh, it's distance-wise, it's not nearly the same. It's a fraction of the distance, but it um, it's still pretty steep and it's treacherous. So it took a lot, a lot of planning, a lot of uh, trial and error, a lot of building and then demolishing. So I've ran it a few times now. So I'm hoping that uh, we're gonna get off the reg. And actually apply some brake. Um, actually, let's just go into the F mu view. Let me try and control a little better. You have to brake, so it starts off here. We're, we're flat here, I guess. So, but right here, you can kind of see it. About halfway down this bridge, we start dropping. And the most it do goes is 6%, and I'll point that out, but it's pretty much 5%. 5 percent, five flipping percent all the way down until we hit the flat area. All right, now we're picking up some speed. We got some sharp turns, so. And I'll show you where the 6% is. Actually, it's coming up pretty soon. It's right about here. If, if I remember correctly. I'm coming down unloaded. This isn't so bad. Train's still doing okay. Got all of our cars. You see we start getting to some pretty steep turns. I believe this is all 6%. You'll see why. I had to do 6% here in a second. Um, it's actually around this bin right here. I wanted to come over top of this hill, but I couldn't climb that fast. Like, even at 10% the max, I wasn't hitting the top of the hit this hill. So, 6%, I was able to kind of sneak it around here. It's a sharp turn. It's up on the snow. Make sure we didn't derail. So, yeah, it's a sharp turn, and I really hope we can make it. This was such a pain in the butt, this area. Whew, that's sharp. This is my first run down this, so if I derail, and then this levels off. This is like 3% here. So, or no, excuse me, this is 4%. I wanted 3%, and I was going to do just a 3% run all the way or something, but I couldn't make it work. So this is... This is pretty slow here. We'll get off the brake and get some speed up a little bit. Because now, once we hit this, the groundwork here, get off the bridge, we are now at zero. And everything's hunky dory. So that run wasn't so bad going down. Okay, let's give it some juice. I 
can kind of see the bridge over here. That bridge was a pain in the butt as well, but it was fun to do. Like, it's one of those rewarding things, like, after I got it figured out, and I look back and I made a nice straight bridge, and it looks good, and I got good footings on under it, and everything is, uh, could just kind of click together. It was a very rewarding uh, setup, and now I get to see the train on it for the very first time. That is cool. And then we start climbing. This is uh, 3%? No. 2.75%. 2. I think we had it set at. I could probably get off the gas here. Coast up this hill, maybe. This is flat up here. Maybe that's too much. Because I know this goes down, and I don't know the condition of that switch. Looks like that switch is backwards. We'll have to stop and fix it. I'm excited now I get to actually start running some good trains and uh, yeah we'll have to stop and fix that switch. Alright. Groundwork is kind of hokey, but what do you do? All right, well, that's going to do it for this one. We got another route to the iron mine. And I think it's going to be a great route for, especially for running uh, lumber products. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. We're actually going to start running some trains now. Now we've got some good lines set up, and if you're into that, that's fantastic. Uh, come along for the ride, and uh, we'll make make good time out of it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.